Hi there. How strong is a force? What's the speed of an airplane? These questions can be answered numerically. More precise answers can be given using vectors and as introduced in the previous video. The direction of a vector indicates the direction of the force. The length of such a vector gives the magnitude of the force. The length of a vector can be computed using the Pythagorean theorem. This theorem is named after Pythagoras of Samos. This mathematician and philosopher lived about 500 years before Christ and it might be nice to just gather some information on this person. Let's not do that here and focus on his theorem. Writing the vector u in two-dimensional space with components u1 and u2, the length of u is given by the square root of the sum of u1 squared and u2 squared. The length of a vector, also called its norm, is denoted by double absolute values. In three dimensions, the theorem is similar and the length of u is given by the square root of the sum of squares of the three components u1, u2 and u3. Unit vectors are vectors with length 1. All non-zero vectors can be decomposed in a unit vector determining its direction and its length. Let's see how this works. Consider the vector 2, 0. It can be viewed as the unit vector 1, 0 multiplied by the scalar 2. Right? Now, this is what you did to get this remarkable insight. You just divided the original vector by its length. Consider the vector 3, 4. The length of this vector is the square root of 9 plus 16, which is 5. So the unit vector with the same direction as 3, 4 is the vector 3 fifth, 4 fifth. Just like before, the vector 3, 4 can be seen as the scalar product of its length and its associated unit vector. In general, any non-zero vector can be decomposed in this way. If you think of a non-zero vector in two dimensions yourself, then its associated unit vector will have its endpoint somewhere on what is called the unit circle. In three dimensions, the idea is the same. The vector 3, 1, 2 has length square root of 14. So it can be written as the scalar product of the square root of 14, its length, and the unit vector which has the same direction. The general statement is again that any non-zero vector is its length times the unit vector with the same direction. Among all unit vectors in three-dimensional space, there are three special vectors, the standard basis vectors. These are the vectors having all but one component equal to zero and one component equal to one. I, J and K constitute a so-called basis of three-dimensional space. Every vector in this space can be written uniquely as a linear combination of these three basis vectors. Indeed, considering the vector 2, 2, 3 as an example, there is exactly one way to write it as a linear combination of i, j and k. Besides the length of a vector, one can also define the distance between two vectors, u and v. It's defined as the norm of their difference, u minus v. This distance is exactly the same as the Euclidean distance between the two endpoints. As an example, consider the vectors 1, 2 and minus 1, 3. The vector u minus v is then given by 2 minus 1, which has length square root of 5. This leads to the statement that the distance between 1, 2 and minus 1, 3 is square root of 5. In two dimensions, we saw that all unit vectors end on the unit circle. Where are the unit vectors in three-dimensional space? So, where can the vectors with length 1 be found? You won't be surprised that the answer is given by the unit sphere. A related question one could ask is which vectors are at distance 2 from the vector v is 1, 2, 3? Those are the vectors u for which the norm of the difference vector u minus v equals 2. And geomet geometrically, these are the points on the sphere centered at v with radius 2. Now you know about the length of vectors, unit vectors and distance between vectors. The next video will introduce a related concept that's very important in many applications. 
the dot product. You know about scalar multiplication of a vector. The dot product gives meaning to the product of two vectors. Curious? Don't hesitate and watch the next video.